Thank you. The blast was heard and felt for blocks around those townhomes, and smoke caught people's attention miles away. Alan Janae continues our coverage tonight. Alan, how no one got hurt is really just incredible. Well, very good point, Karen. And it's pretty amazing that people are back in some of these townhomes around this explosion and fire today. Firefighters poured water onto this fire for four hours today, and you can see the result of that. The ice is built up over that wreckage. So imagine how difficult it will be for investigators who might want to get back in there tomorrow to look for a cause. As firefighters rolled up hoses, the hours of water poured onto the fire, froze and sheathed everything in ice. Wow. Edwin Lucio and his family were still rattled by the explosion that shifted nearly everything in their townhome. The TV moved. Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah, and the couches moved down. The heavy snow began to cover it up, but it had been quite a day. I was sitting down getting ready to eat, man, and I heard a big boom. So I come look out the door and the whole side of the building was blown off. From the townhome where James Squalls lives, they began to record video moments after the explosion. The building was largely blown away. Fire was burning. And as police arrived, Jeffrey Garcia tried to help. They were kicking doors down and we were breaking windows just to make sure nobody was in there. Pets were safe. We could hear barking and we could hear people, but we didn't really know what's going on. When viewed from above, it was stunning to realize there were only minor injuries to two people and one firefighter slightly hurt. It was checked out at a hospital. Eight units in all affected by the fire and a lot of people thankful it wasn't worse in spite of how bad it was. It's scary, especially after seeing what happened down there in Boulder, you know, Boulder County. But a lot of people lost their stuff today. Um, thank God no one lost their life. That's a blessing. That's a blessing. It certainly is. And some of the people who are spending the night in other places I saw leaving, bringing their possessions with them as they left this evening on this cold, cold night. And for those who are staying, well, one of them told me just a little bit more nervous because as of yet, we don't know why this happened. In Westminster, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First. Oh.